What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So today, we're discussing transitional fragrances from season to season. Ones that'll work well enough in the heat, but still transition well into the fall season where it's still a little hot, but temperatures start to drop a little bit more at night. Not necessarily getting any cooler, but not necessarily unbearingly hot anymore. Whereas it's still pretty hot where I'm at, but for a lot of you, we're about to start getting into that transitional phase moving into September and October. So let's discuss some of these fragrances. Stay tuned. Shall we begin? So with this first one, I actually don't have a full bottle yet. Probably in the next month or so, I'll be looking to get my hands on one. Finally, I will be taking this with me on my upcoming trip to Louisiana because it happens to be a travel size. It's perfect for this time of year. It's from Victor and Rolf, Spice Bomb Fresh. This is my 20 milliliter travel size atomizer. I absolutely have it on my wrist right now because I pulled it down for this video. I had to spray it and smell it. I love this one. You know, others in the past have said, oh, it's just a watered down version of Spice Bomb. No, not exactly. It's got a heightened grapefruit note and some added sea salt to really freshen this thing up. It, the spices are still there without all the warmth. It's more fresh spicy than warm spicy. Solid performer. You still get several hours of longevity into that average moderate range. You know, that six to seven hour range for me on my skin. And projection is solid as well going about arm's length for an hour and a half and then leaving a mild scent trail for a few hours following then getting really close to the skin. It's definitely one that is sadly discontinued but still a great fragrance that's not that difficult to get your hands on. You're going to pay retail, maybe slightly over retail, but definitely in that realm. Prices aren't crazy, but prices are not cheap either. So if you're looking for it, they can be had. They're still all over the place online. You just have to look and you can absolutely get your hands on this. It works well in the in the heat works well in the fall as, as well this is kind of that if you're a big fan of spice bomb but you need something a little bit lighter spice bomb fresh is going to be the one for you next i'm not saying this one can be cloying in the extreme heat but it's one that i definitely wasn't reaching for in the extreme heat and once we start getting into this transitional phase moving into the fall definitely gonna be reaching for this one from hugo boss a bit more it's boss bottled infinite i did a full review in the early spring earlier in this year very lavender heavy with that olive tree it's a beautiful fragrance it really is God, i love the way that smells it's been a while since i've smelled it you know solid performer definitely and you know above average release for last year in my opinion it didn't get a bunch of hype or you know it wasn't real noteworthy you know some people love it some people just passed on it and didn't really give it a chance it's all over at discounters now it's not real expensive it's at a good discounted rate in that $40, 40 some odd dollar range for 100 milliliter bottles. It's one that I feel like more people should try because it maintains some of the Spice Bomb DNA with adding a lot more lavender. And like I said, that beautiful olive tree note that's present in the opening, but really present and dominant in the dry down. It really makes this a very nice and smooth fragrance that's versatile, can work multi-season, and multi-situation more people should give a chance in my opinion once again hugo boss boss bottled line 2019 release is boss bottled infinite next speaking of 2019 releases this is one that was released last year that i find just a bit too much for the extreme heat um, in moderation on the sprays it can definitely work in the heat it's definitely a fresh fragrance but it's a sweeter take for a fresh fragrance. It's Davidoff Cool Water Intense. Very bubblegum Invictus, sweetness heavy in the opening, but so much Ambroxan, it makes it project like crazy. It's very long lasting. Smells absolutely nothing like the original Cool Water whatsoever, but a great standalone fragrance in itself if you like the bubblegum Invictus style fragrances, which I do, as well as Ambroxan heavy fragrances. Even though the note breakdown doesn't justify what it smells like, it's definitely a bubblegummy and broxen heavy type of scent that'll really work better 
transitioning into that fall than it does in the summer, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, in the high heat, you can absolutely wear it, but I feel like it's a little much, get a little cloying, be very, very, very modest with the sprays in the high heat, but in this transitional period, I think it's gonna be the best time to wear Cool Water Intense. Do I think it's a great winter fragrance? No, but that, you know, early fall, late summer, late spring time frame is when this is really gonna shine. It's definitely gonna be when I'm reaching for it a lot more. Once again, that's from Davidoff. Cool Water Intense. Now, when I think high heat, I don't think tobacco, but when I think fall and springtime, you know, when it's still warm, but it's not too hot, that's when you can start transitioning in some of these fresher tobacco fragrances. And one of my favorite fragrances that feature tobacco that's on the fresher side due to some rhubarb, and a little bit of bitter orange and stuff like that, some freshness and citruses up top, is actually a favorite of Justin over at Stay Fresh Productions. Shout out to you, Justin. John Barbados, vintage. This is a good time of year for this fragrance. Very, very good, very versatile as well. Has some complexity without being overly complex. It's not a simple fragrance, but it doesn't change too much either. It's not an overbearing projection, but it doesn't sit super close to the skin. It's not gonna go the entire day, but it's not a weak performer in longevity either. You follow me? And you can get them very cheap online. This is a 75 ml. You can get this in the mid-20s range. 4.2 ounces you can get in the 30 some odd dollar range all over from discounters online. And it's just a fantastic fragrance that can be dressed up or down. It can go on nights out, evenings in that, you know, summer to fall time frame. No problem. It's very, very gentlemanly in essence, but kind of that cool cat kind of vibe you know what i mean that's why it fits justin's personality so well because that's who justin is justin's a cool cat this scent relates to him very well for example um one that more people should try if you haven't already and they're very cheap they're perfect for this time of year john varvedo's vintage next this is another one that's not real heavy on the projection but tends to go quite a while on my skin seven to eight hour fragrance for sure um in the same vein of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, but I find a little more well-rounded, maybe a little bit more polished and refined than Le Mal. And this is from Prada, Prada Lunarosa Sport. We're getting into the time of year when this fragrance shines, for sure. Super high heat, not the best time to wear this one. Moving into fall, it's going to be a staple for a lot of people. Been around for many years now, I smell it that... Just that creamy lavender, mint vanilla, the tonka bean. It's just, it's just a good fragrance. You know, it's a better version of Le Mal, in my opinion. And I know there's a lot of people out there that completely agree with me with that statement. It's a beautiful smell. Prada always does it right. They don't make fragrances that are subpar or mediocre. Everything they put out smells good. Decent performers on up. And this absolutely falls into that. This is bordering a classic at this stage with Luna Rosa Sport. And it's that time of year for it. Prada Luna Rosa Sport. The refined JPG Le Mal. Now, I did feature this one recently on my Cheap Fragrances That Smell Expensive video. And uh, I stand by that statement. You know, it's an even cheaper version of Azaro Wanted. Essentially, it's very fresh and invictus Bubble gummy in the opening with a spicy cinnamon dry down. Another one from Davidoff. Cool water. No, I'm sorry, not cool water. Run wild. I got cool water on the mind because we went over a cool water a minute ago. This is a beautiful fragrance. I actually wore it recently. I just love the way it smells. Oh man, that smells so good. Decent performer. Compliment getter. Cheap fragrance from discounters. Still floating in the air. And the bottle looks cool. That contour on it just looks cool to me. Thick base. I love the design of it. The color of the juice to the cap, to the atomizer, everything about it. This is a good release from them, you know? Lackluster type of hype when it came out. A few people did view reviews on it, but, you know, nobody was really saying, oh, you need to try this. I'm saying if you're on a budget, 
This is a fantastic fragrance for this time of year. One that's signature scent worthy in essence. You could wear it year round. It's not too cloying and spicy to wear in the high heat, but spring, fall, transition from summer to fall, perfect time of year for this fragrance. It'll really shine right now because now is when you can really pull those spices out a lot more moving into the fall time. We're not full fledged in the fall yet. So you have that fresh bubblegummy fruity sweetness up top and that spicy dry down transitions right on in. Decent performer, Davidoff, run wild. Now during the summer, you heard me talking about Prada Loam Low. Well, now we're starting in to get the time of year when I want to wear the original Prada Loam. You'll notice there's two Prada fragrances and two Davidoff fragrances so far. And we actually have two Hugo Boss fragrances as well, which will be coming up shortly. But back to talking about Prada Loam, this one, it's, it's not that it gets cloying in the heat. It's just Prada Loam Low is just a fresher, more crisp and bright version of this DNA. It's just better in the high heat. So now that we're starting to transition in the fall, it's time to pull this one out. This one's a little bit more dense, has a little bit more depth with the spice. Like I was just saying a minute ago, time to start pulling the spices out a bit more, which spices and florals, it's my favorite. And this is both of those, spices and florals. And a very, very good performer too. Seven to eight hour fragrance projects very well for a long time. It stays moderate for a long time on my skin. I don't know if it's the batch, I don't know if it's my skin chemistry or what, but Prada alone just works on my skin. Love the way it smells. It's compliment getting, super, super versatile, signature scent worthy. And like I said, pulling out those florals and those spices, transitioning in the fall, perfect time of year for this. Time to put away Prada Loam Low, pull out Prada Loam. Next, this is a cheapy favorite among a lot of people. Um, we'll just go ahead and throw it out there with the small bottle 30 ml gang, Burberry Touch. One of my favorite things about having this 30 ml bottle is that right there. It just cracks me up. I've always loved that about it. Beautiful. Beautiful scent. It's basic for what it is. It doesn't change and transition much. It's creamy. It's a little powdery. It's got a little bit of citrus up top with a woody dry down. It's a distinct smell. When you smell Burberry Touch, if you've smelled it before, you know it's Burberry Touch when somebody walks by with it on. It's a solid performer, projects decent for a few hours. It's gonna last you most of your work day. And they're cheap, they're not real expensive, they're not super cheap, but they're definitely very, very affordable to get any size bottle from these 30 milliliter bottles on up to a 50 milliliter to a 100 milliliter. It just works in any situation, t-shirt to tie, don't matter. Fall, moving into fall especially, is when this is really gonna work out. Does fine in the heat, but I think it's better for these situations. It's one that you can do in the evenings and absolutely a fantastic day off and work fragrance. Burberry Touch never ceases to amaze me. It's a must. When you're starting a collection, this is a great spot to start. Nothing short of a must have. That's Burberry Touch. So. Everybody's been having their bottle of Boss Bottled Tonic out because it's been summertime. Yeah, the performance is terrible on that one, but it smells fantastic. It's got many uses in the summertime. Well now, it's still hot, but as it starts, the temperature starts to drop off, maybe it's time to start busting out the OG, Boss Bottled, Boss number six. Maybe a little too early for the intense Eau de Parfum or the recently announced Eau de Parfum. Can't wait to check that one out but there's nothing wrong with the original. It's still a beautiful, crisp apple pie. It's not gonna be cloying in this time of year. It's not that dense. That's where the intense comes in. That's much more dense and deep. This works fine, especially for those that are gonna wear a suit this time of year. Masterpiece with a gray suit, in my opinion. My favorite time to wear it is with a gray suit, but it works well, casually, and dressed up. This is a true, gentleman's signature scent pulls many compliments they've sold many 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 bottles of boss bottled over the years it's been around for a long time and it's not going anywhere it's spawned tons of flankers hell we talked about one of the more recent flankers at the beginning of this video it's a tried and true dna and it's that time of year to start pulling it out 
and that's Boss Bottle. And last but most certainly not least, this pick may surprise some of you because for as much as I like it in the summer, I like it even more this time of year during this transitional phase when it's still hot during the day, but maybe not as bad moving into the evenings and the temperature is just going to start slowly trailing off. You still want something nice, fresh and fruity that just works. It performs, it gets you some compliments. It's Aqua de Jo Absolute. Yep, I still like this one. The only time of year I don't like this one is in the coldest of winter. That's when I would say if you want to smell Aqua de Jo, grab Profumo. That's going to be the one that's going to work best in the winter. But in this transitional phase, man, gotta love the way this smells. From summer to fall, or from spring to summer, it's hard to beat. It really is. I know not everybody's a fan of it, but in my experience, those around me really love the way this smells coming off my skin. And I love the way this thing smells. I have this 75 ml, and right down here where you can't see where I have some backup bottles, I have a 200 ml of this. I'll never run out of Aqua de Jo Absolute. I have 275 milliliters of it. Well, a little less than that, but this is a great fragrance. As you can tell, based on that last statement, I love this fragrance, and this is the time of year that I like to wear it the most. Climate control situations in the high heat, I prefer it which was the few times I wore it this summer because I'm in climate control a lot. But transitioning from summer to fall, I think this is where it really gets to shine. The C notes and that patchouli just mix so well. And it's just such a good scent for this time of year because of the sweetness of the fruits that are in here because this is a little bit sweeter version, kind of in that Invictus Aqua, Invictus type of realm from the Aqua de Joe DNA. Once again, Aqua de Joe Absolute. A surprising favorite for this seasonal transition. Well guys, that's the ones I wanted to discuss today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these have you been wearing even though it's been super hot? Do you live in a climate air, a climated area that's maybe not as hot as it is down here in South Texas where the humidity is at 100%. So when it says 99 degrees is the high, it really feels like 109, 110. And when it shows a 103 high, it's really like 113 to 115. Yeah, it's super hot down here. Maybe you're in one of those climates like maybe Colorado area where the highs are in the 80s and the humidity is in the teens. I envy you. But until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these fragrances and you give them a spray now, real good chance you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. He's not a drill.